Hi everyone. Welcome back. Another new day. It's Friday morning here in Oregon and um, a little bit of snow we got on Tuesday night is disappeared and things are kind of back to normal. So I um, wanted to show you the new kit that I worked on. I started this um, like a week and a half ago and um, while I was in having issues with the other kit I started this one just kind of prepping it and then um, I got a really good idea about what I wanted to do with it so I want to go over that with you. So uh, what this is is Ravel's uh, 77 Pontiac Firebird from the TV show or from the movie Smokey and the Bandit but um, I didn't quite do it the way the kit wanted me to and this is what I did so let me uh, readjust my camera here a little bit bring this in a little bit closer so you can see it so my idea with this is, I think everybody has done this kit as the Smoking the Bandit car. I decided to do this one like it had been picked up by some young person, man or female, um, who wanted a car to rebuild. You know, maybe they had seen the movie, got inspired couldn't afford something that was already in pristine condition. So they shopped around and found this one. So that's what I decided to do. I decided to do this as a car someone was gonna work on. I found it in a junkyard or somebody's backyard or something. So what I thought I would do so we're gonna just uh, turn this over, show you what I did. Uh, first of all, I wanna explain that uh, this kit actually went together very, very well. Um, there were no real issues. A um, Couple of things just with the instructions were a little weird. Um, but uh, beyond that, there's nothing that wasn't too terribly hard. So let me show you the bottom. Let me see if I can do this without uh, knocking it over. So there it is, well rusted up, well beaten. Okay. The young person who bought this car to restore, it's gonna have a lot of work to do. But that was kind of my idea show you the interior so the I had tried um, there's uh, I'm sure you've seen it before uh, the craft paints make that crackle medium it's supposed to make the you know the paint crack stuff like that but um, for whatever reason I either didn't do it properly or whatever but it didn't happen so I decided to uh, throw some seat covers on there, some old, beaten, ugly seat covers, cover the seats. And uh, the seat covers are actually made from metal gauze. So I put, I grabbed some gauze bandages, cut them up and uh, essentially put them on. There's that. Um, interesting thing about the kit is that it did not come with this mirror. I don't know why, but it wasn't in the box. There's that. Hold on a second. I've got uh, some of the enamel stuff. The weathering hasn't quite dried yet. I'm kind of coming off of my fingers. Let's see if I can show you the engine. me 
Get a little more light on here. There's the engine. Well rusted, well beaten up, well used. Been sitting for a long time. That was the other thing with this is that the uh, the hood didn't quite um, close on this. Um, and I think that had, well, it closed uh, before we got the windshield in here. And I think there's a little piece of the, the hinge or the windshield is interfering with this. And this should actually open up a little bit farther, but it doesn't. Um, so yeah, this is my take on a weather beaten old 77 Trans Am that someone is going to be working on. Oh, the other thing too is that the, um, for whatever reason, the car does not sit completely level. This wheel is a little bit up off the ground not entirely sure why the the look like the body is actually sitting flush the way it should so i'm not sure what's up with that part of it but uh for what it is it'll be fine i actually had thought of maybe actually making a garage for this and uh you know putting it in the garage and putting some tools around it just to make it look like uh the person was working on it So, um, that's all I got. That's my newest build. And to be honest with you, for anybody who's uh, new to car building or anything like that, models like this, this Revelle kit went together very, very easily. It does have a lot of decals in order to get it to look like uh, the car from the movie. Um, so if you're not comfortable with decals, um, then skip that part of it and do something else with it. But uh, there are a lot of decals. I just didn't, I decided not to do any of the decals and just decided to go with uh, this weather beaten old 77 Trans Am that someone's going to rebuild. So that's all I've got for now. I'll take some stills of this and tack them on to the end so you can take a better look at them. And um, I hope everybody's doing well. Hope you're all staying safe and healthy. Please like, comment, and share the video if you feel it's worth it. And I like hearing from everybody. So um, I hope everybody's got great plans for the weekend. Hope you're all staying healthy. And I will talk to you all real soon. Bye.